ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Well, and you also accomplished a lot. So, like, I know how, like, a lot of times people go to the negative. But, I mean, you were number one in the country. You've done a lot in the sport. There's nothing to be sorry about, even though you didn't go to the track. Like, you did a lot. So, it's like you don't have to ever not think about that. Um, talk a little bit about this team that you're training with. How did this get going? How's all that stuff going? Yep. So right now I'm training with a team. No excuse. Lamont Roach senior is my head coach and manager and, uh, coach clean Dave Jacob. He's my assistant coach and, uh, my strength and conditioning coach over at advanced sports performance coach D uh, it's a solid team. You know, it's, it's a small team, but it's solid. And I definitely wouldn't be training with anybody else. Um, I, I knew Lamont Jr., Lamont Rhodes Jr. from the amateurs. We were, we're the same age, so we grew up boxing, same national tournaments and stuff like that. So I already kind of knew him, and uh, my wife is actually in the Army, so she got stationed over here in D.C., and uh, I had to pick a team out here in D.C. that I could train full-time with, and there was no better choice than uh, no excuse, in, in my opinion, and uh I'm definitely glad I made that decision. It's a solid, strong team. You really like family. Um, I've been working with them for over two years. So we have a great relationship and definitely looking forward to the future with them. And uh, you brought up something I was also going to touch on that I'm kind of curious about. And I already kind of know the answer, but you bring it up. What's it like looking for a new team, being a decorated women's boxer? going into all these different gym dynamics because let's be real i've been going into boxing gyms my whole life and there's a lot of egos and even for me just being like a bald and white dude where normally everything in the world works that sometimes right. it doesn't work in boxing sometimes i go in and you just feel like hey you're not really welcome here you're welcome here if you pay the money but we don't right. really really want you here you know i'm kind of curious like how it how was that from moving to where you know to uh kind of like a tough not tough but like when i think of the dmv area it's like this is hands up punch hard tough mentality yeah. what was that like um it wasn't too different actually uh they had the same system my father had growing up you know pick your shots but make sure they're hard and you you're working your combinations and stuff like that and it wasn't too difficult to fit in and feel like part of the family. You know, they welcomed me with open arms, um, always giving advice. And the one thing I loved about working with uh, Coach Lamont and Coach Clean and uh, Coach D is they don't care if I'm a woman. They they don't give a they don't give a crap if I'm a woman or not. They they treat me just like they treat the guys. You know, whatever the guys are doing, I'm doing right alongside them. You know, I might not be doing it as fast, but I'm doing it alongside them and I'm working alongside them. So they push me just as hard as they push the guys. And that was one of the things I loved about being that I, I love about being there. And they they really just opened me uh, were open arms. You know, they took me right in, started uh, working and training with me and there was no ego. And, and they told me like it was. You know, they didn't ride me and tell me what I wanted to hear. They strictly tell you what you need to hear. They, you know, bad days, good days, whatever it was, they're, they're always there pushing, motivating. And I'm ultimately learning every day. So overall, it's a great environment, and I, I couldn't ask for more.